What are you doing here? I cannot let you go through with this. You'll be killed. I'm prepared to die for the cause, Bo. You know that. Miss Calhoun! Miss Calhoun! My friend here says he can drive the wagon. Well, Olive Calhoun. Normally I like to drive myself, but today I feel like a man joining us sends the right message. Either you got a lazy eye or lack of respect. Which is it, boy? I ain't got no lazy eye. No respect for the lacks of you. Well, maybe when your mother's finished mourning your father, I'll keep her in black on your behalf. You think on that, boy? Well, maybe you shall, sir. And maybe other events will transpire. You best stick to them books, because mark my words on this. Vengeance is an idiot's game. Ah, Mrs. Downs, thank you for your punctuality. Next to godliness, isn't it? That's cleanliness. I'll have to take your word on that. Hey, you want some company, mister? No. You sure? Hey. What? I don't know you. This is Downs? No. Not you. Get away. Ha, now. I mean, I, I, Help. I, I, It's okay, ma'am. I don't mean you no harm. <laughs> well, it makes no difference now. If, if an outlaw or a wild animal doesn't get me starvation, well... <laughs> we came out here from the city in search of a different life. Something true, something real. All this squandering and indulgence, we wanted to strip it away, to find something authentic. <laughs> what a pair of fools. Is there a train station or a town I can take you to? No, I can't give up now. He wouldn't want that. I, I can't have it. I'm gonna do this for you, Cal. Well, I'll, um, I'll leave you to it. <laughs> Is there anything left for you to eat? Nothing. No, we didn't know the first thing about hunting. We couldn't even catch a darn mouse. If you need any poisonous berries, though, I'm a natural at finding those. 
Well... You ain't gonna last much longer out here if you don't know how to hunt. Come on. I'll show you. All right. But you better not try any funny business. You know, I may be weak, but I still know how to stand up for myself. Oh, I don't doubt it. Come on. Tell me, you ever skin an animal before? No, but then again, I haven't caught much of anything either. Well, you'll need to know how to do both if you're gonna survive out here. I am all too aware. So where should we head for? Uh, let's try in the trees down there, near the river. What happened to your husband, if you don't mind me asking? A bear got him. It was horrifying. He survived, but only for a couple of days. I, I buried him a week ago. Uh, I'm sorry. This was really his dream more than mine. I'd have hopped the next train back to Chicago if he'd said the word. But now... I, I don't know, it's hard to explain. I have to do this. Uh, I understand. Yes. This is a good spot. What are we looking for? Well, I... I think we should start with something small, don't you? I kill it, you skin it. Sound fair? Skin it? But I, I, I don't even have a knife with me. Don't worry, you won't need one. Now, take a look around for any movement. I, I don't see anything. Shh, just keep your eyes peeled. Still watch me. Oh. oh! Got it. Oh! Good shot. Okay then, go on. Time to get your hands dirty. How do I... I mean... What do I do? Just hold the legs tight and pull the skin away quickly. Should come right off. To it. You did good. I think I've seen enough blood for one day. <laughs> Do you mind if we head back now? Sure. I'll walk you back. You did good. That should keep you fed for a few days. Oh, yes. At least. Thank you so much. I mean, this really ain't such a bad spot. You got a good water source. It's remote, but you can survive here all right. I have out that one can survive here. Whether Charlotte Balfour can is a different matter entirely. You've probably lived your whole life in the outdoors. Oh, a lot of it, that's for sure. I barely left the city before coming here. Cal spent his summers growing up at his grandparents' lodge in Maine, but I get the impression they did more punting than hunting. Right. Oh, Lord. No, we're done for now. Wolves, stay back! Dead rabbit. Oh, thank God. You see, if, if, if you hadn't been here, I, I'd be dead now. You got a rifle? Yes. Well, my, my husband's. I suggest you learn how to use it. Now, oh, come on, let's get you home. Since we got here, it feels like every step forward has come with a hundred steps back. People always talk about the simplicity of country life, but there's nothing simple about any of this. Well, I guess we only know what we know. Oh, please. I'm sure it wouldn't take you too long to adjust to a life of privilege and indolence in the big city. I don't know about that. It sounds awful. 
Oh, it is. A truly empty and boring existence. But an undeniably easy one. I still can't believe he's gone. Thank you. That was the first time anyone's done anything nice for us. For me. Since we got here. Well, nature provides, but she sure don't always make it easy. That she doesn't. I'd invite you in, but I'm dead on my feet, if you'll forgive the pun. <laughs> Please do call again sometime, though. A good rest, and hopefully I'll be a new woman. You take care, ma'am. Dear sir, you were once very kind to Beau and myself, and it pains me to ask you to show us further kindness. But I have nowhere else to turn, and nobody else upon whom I can impose. I will, of course, pay you handsomely for your troubles. My family have turned quite mad and are threatening to send me away to stop my work, which they say is disgracing them. As if their history of absolute moral depravity, utter debauchery, and perpetual drunkenness did not disgrace them enough. I must escape, yet I am kept prisoner here. Can you help? Most days I am to be found at the cabins on the plantation. The main house and all it stood for are thankfully no more. Yours faithfully, Penelope Braithwaite. Mr. Morgan. <laughs> hey, Strauss. How are you? About... about how I look. Okay. Are you, um, are you perhaps available for some work? Debtors? Yes. I guess. Your commitment to your duties is admirable. <coughs> you know, Mr. Morgan, you are... Well, I'm sorry for you. Hmm? No, never mind. I didn't... Look, Strauss. You take care. I ain't dead yet. No, of course not. That's what I was saying. I, uh... I... A debtor, Strauss. Who owes you money? Well, uh, there's a deserter from Fort Wallace. Head to him first. They're looking for him out on the road near Three Sisters. Man's name is J. John Weathers. J. John Weathers. Hmm. Then there's a miner over in Annisburg. He's called... Well, he's called Arthur. <laughs> like you. Huh. <laughs> Arthur Londonderry. Family man, desperate, you know the type. Couldn't one of the boys do this? I tried. They lacked your... vigor. Vigor, huh? huh. All right. Uh, take care, uh, uh, Mr. Morgan. Brother Dorgans and I were talking about you just the other day and hoping we would see you again. How is Brother Dorkins? Oh, he's quite well. A little frustrated with the workings of our order. He keeps trying to be sent overseas, you know, do something with more challenge, maybe uh, be a missionary. He's a lovely man. Sure. And how are you? Uh, never better. Are you sure? Uh, I'm quite sure, sister. You know, a long time ago, I was like you. I very much doubt that. Oh, no, I did terrible things, awful things. And I could not stop doing terrible things because I did not believe that goodness existed. And then one day, I saw that love did exist, 
And ever since then, doing bad things became, well, not impossible, but ridiculous. I guess I'm just hoping for a, a dignified exit. I shall pray for you. Oh, I'm not a religious man, sister. <laughs> I'm an outlaw. <laughs> oh, what fun. Religion is just a word. Hearts are rarely pure, but equally they are rarely impure either. Well, that's an interesting way of putting it. To me, God is people and people are God, so we must all do what we can. These people are starving. Go find them some food. Don't worry so much about your heart. The actions will lead and the heart follows. I'll still think of you in very nasty terms, as you wish. You know what, sister? I think I've already got plenty of food on me. They could just eat my... You are wonderful, Mr. Morgan. Now, that ain't true. Oh, I meant wonderful, but so very frightening, as you wish. Consider your good deed done for the day. I won't subject you to any more benevolence. Sister Ethel makes a fabulous stew. They will be so happy. Yeah. Okay. Oh, thank you, thank you, you lovely, lovely man. Uh, calm down, miss. Oh, come on, let's go. We ain't got a minute to lose. They killed her. They killed Miss Calhoun. All she wanted was a better lot for women, and they killed her, those pigs. Who killed her? I don't know. My cousins, probably, or, or bows. Well, you met them. They're animals. Not even animals. Monsters. Monsters, if God had lost all his powers of imagination. Can you... Can you please take me to the train station? Bo will be waiting. Bo, why couldn't he come and rescue you? Well, if they saw me and him together, they'd lynch him and send me off to a nunnery. Or maybe they'd lynch us both, I ain't quite sure. They do so love hanging folk. Where are you heading? Up to Boston. Good. Yeah, I like you up there. Come on. Let's go. Of course. I'm in your hands. Just get me to Rhodes Railway Station. Okay. Let's try and get you a train. I know the route. Bo's just waiting at the station in the hope you'll show up, or I'll show up to help you show up. He goes to there every day. You don't want to mess around over there. One, two, three. That's my poor cousin. There's no help in her. Believe me, I've tried. Five, eleven. Oh. I knew how you Braithwaite's treated enemies. Now I know how you treat Ken, too. This doesn't seem like the right way. It's a great shame on a family that's shamed already. I told myself she was better off here with family than in a sanatorium, but maybe she isn't. 
I'll do what I can from Boston for her. Sure you will. God damn. Okay, well, you still got a train to catch. Get me away from all this. We're here. He, he'll be out at the front. Will you ride on the train with us a little, just, just to the first stop? Fine. Hardly a man at all. But I love you, Penelope Braithwaite. Oh, sir, how can we ever repay your kindness? Mm, some of them jewels would do just fine. Bo, Arthur's gonna join us. I think we need the support. Please, could you buy the tickets, dear Mr. Morgan? We, we can't chance being seen. Sure. Thank you. We'll meet you on the platform. Can I have three tickets to San Denis, please, sir? Of course. Uh, oh, hello, sir. Hello, Alden. I hope all is well. Uh, not terribly, but good to see you. Hey, cousin. No. Hey, no, you uh, leave us alone. Uh, get back. Uh, excuse me, Alden. Get on the train. Get your bags, miss. I got this. Come here, Yankee. With pleasure, you goddamn fool. You want to come back here without giving you a whipping? We should have done this last time. Get on the train, boy. Go to your woman. Four fists and maybe one brain between you. You're going to get hurt, cowboy. Get up, Scott. Quite a family you've got there, sir. I know. Charming to the last. Then again, my uncle used to keep his own half-brother as a slave. So, what do you expect? Good manners? My uncle used to say things were better the way they were when he could rape and kill with impunity and he didn't have to work a day in his life. Both our families. There's good people in this county, but our families bully them and drove most of them off. Whites as well as blacks, all over this silly feud. Yeah. Well, how to life. Oh, my lord. What? Oh, I think it's my second cousin. What is with it with all these goddamn cousins? I think they found out about the jewels. All right, keep your heads down. I'll deal with this. Jewels? I knew you had some. Ah! Coming from over the hill. You must have all the jewels in the state. They're out of here. Ah!
that the driver? He's abandoning us! Hold tight, all right? I'll take a look up front. What will you do? I'll figure it out. Driver! Driver, we're in the clear. Time to start this train again. Damn it, you did run. Remind me to rob your trains, mister. Let's see now. It's best you go on alone from here. Mr. Arthur, I didn't know you could drive a train. Neither did I. <laughs> but if I'm honest, it was kind of fun. <laughs> and I didn't kill any of us. Well, I killed some of your relatives, but they would have killed all of us. You are a gentleman, sir. <laughs> oh, no, I ain't. Yes, you are. Here, I ain't got much money, but these sapphires are worth a lot of money. Old family heirloom. That Braithwaite treasure. I couldn't take it. No. Let's get you off to Boston before any more of your relatives show up. That might be wise. Hey, you there. Yeah? This couple is heading up north to the Boston line. They got money, they'll pay you on arrival. That work for you? Yeah, sounds fine. Get on in. Hey, uh... You carry protection on a journey like this? I wouldn't be much of a stage driver if I didn't. Goes everywhere I do. Hey! <gasps> Miss Braithwaite is gonna hold on to this until arrival. Hmm? On account of the treasure on your person. I don't know how to thank you. Uh -huh. You're a fine man, sir. Just get out of here. I'll leave. Yeah! J. John Weathers. They call me Snow Goose now. Whatever they call you. You borrowed money off of Leopold Strauss. The bills come due. This ain't the best time, sir. This ain't the best time for anyone. Mr. Strauss knew it was a long-term proposition. The debt is due. Okay. I got supplies meant to last through the winter. You can take them, just... Is there any way you can help me? I stay out here, there won't be anyone to pay you. I ain't here to help. I'm here to collect. We're all, all of us up against it. Look, there's men after me. <laughs> They're killers. I ain't a deserter, just an objector. It ain't right. If there was another way than running, I need your help. Shut up. Please. I... Up here, it's him. It's too late. Form up, we shoot on sight. I clear off, sir. 
Ah, shit. Well, seeing as I'm here, I'm, I'll do what I can for you. Probably still save something. Really now? Look, you can take the silver locket for the debt. Damn the dead. Just get her somewhere safe. Go on. Thank you, fella. You know, there ain't enough kindness in this world, that's for sure. But you. I don't know nothing about kindness. Can you help? Can you help me, mister? What's the problem? My goddamn horse got spooked and run off. Are you hurt? Not too bad, at least. But he took my damn leg. Sorry. He went that way, I think. His name's Buell. Buell? Second time a prick named Buell cost me a leg. Huh? Buell was my general. When I lost it. Oh, okay. Anyway, if you see an angry bastard of a horse with my wooden leg, I'd be real grateful. I'll bear that in mind. Get you back. Yeah, he's just where you left him. Can't go far with that leg in your stirrup. Can't go bucking him like that. So you better be good, you hear? I get the notion he's not a man you want to cross. No matter how. Big and strong you are. I found him. You're a good man, mister. Mr. Arthur. You're right. He's a brute. <sighs> Hamish Sinclair. Yeah, he's a great horse. Aside from when the devil got him. Hey, you wanna hand me that leg there, please? And while you're at it, give old Buell a kick for me, would you? No, I'm only kidding. <laughs> Thank you. Or him but a snake that spooked him. You're a real gentleman, you know? Sometimes, maybe. Yeah, how'd you lose a leg? Oh, in the war. Cannonball. Pretty clean, though. I don't have much pain, and I didn't get any gangrene. 
A young boy went into battle with me, got cut in half, so all things considered, I'm doing pretty well, I guess. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> so, uh, how is the false one? It's okay! I can still hunt, fish. Enjoy the outside. Weren't sent too crazy by it. Anyway, I ain't got much to pay you with. You know, that's okay. You like fishing? You can come with me someday. I know some pretty good spots. Uh, I'm a pretty poor fisherman. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm great. So between the two of us, we do okay. My cabin is right over on the other side of O'Cray's run there. Thanks again. Yeah, you throw me again, you old dumb bastard. I'm gonna put a bullet in you. I'll see you again. Hey, you want company, boss? Sure, because I want to be pissing needles tomorrow. <laughs> this is down. Go away. Just go away. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry, but I... Well... Well, you're sorry. Yeah, I heard you. But, I mean, well, I, I, this country is man unleashed. That's the thing, and it ain't my fault any more than it's man anyone else. Man unleashed? Then unleash goodness. Not just hell's feeble brothers, sir. But how? I mean, all I know how to do is fight, I guess. I was set free to fight. Where's your son, Mrs. Down? Where you think? Down the mine. Until he gets sick. Which won't be long, given how hard they work him. See, Foreman don't like him, so he gets the worst of it. Maybe I could go with well, Maybe you could just leave us all alone. Maybe. Maybe you could just go fight some other battle. Boy. Be quiet, Mr. Dockery. Oh, your mom's a whore, and that's a goddamn fact. Why don't you shut up? Oh, hey. all right. Oh. Who's this, your daddy? My daddy died. And this man, he killed him. What are you doing here? Leave the boy alone. Why'd you kill his daddy? You after his mama? <laughs> Stop bullying the boy. Get out of my business, mister. Leave the boy alone. Or what? Or I'll kill you too. You couldn't kill no one. Look at you, all ragged and sick and weak. Clear off, you goddamn hermit. Clear off! You and the horse son here. Take your hands off me! I gave you a chance! Now who's next? Let the boy go. Let him go! Come on me. Shame on you. He's just a goddamn boy! Let's get you out of here. They're gonna kill me. Now I got no job and they're gonna kill me. I've got some money. You and your mama can go someplace nice. Well, why are you doing this? I don't know. Listen, take this. All of it. Try and talk to your mama and get out of here. Now run! I'll try. Good boy. I don't want to see you here again! Now I'm looking for an Arthur Londonderry. I was told he works here. Londonderry? Oh, you'll want to speak to the foreman. He's down in the pit. Arthur Londonderry. See here? I'm sorry, feller, but you're too late! Arthur's dead! <laughs> The man's dead. What's wrong with you? Oh, boy. You can't exactly beat it out of him now, can you? <laughs> you might get something off his widow just across from Butcher's Creek, but I'd hurry. You ain't gonna be the only one a-knocking. <laughs> you ought to be ashamed of yourself. Hey, I ain't the godforsaken moneylender. Pack all your stuff in. 
Angel? I don't want to go. It'll be an adventure? I don't want an adventure. I want my daddy. Be brave, sweet angel. Be brave. Fine. <coughs> uh, Mrs. London, Derek. <coughs> oh. I know. I'm sorry for it. It's just... We lent Arthur some money, you see, and... So it was you. You son of a bitch. What do you want now? You want my boy's shoes? You want the food out of our bellies? What little there is? You want me to lie down for you? No! No, I... Arthur gave everything to pay your bills. Everything. And now there's some fellas coming to take the house. There ain't nothing left, mister. Uh, I just wanted to say the debt's canceled and to you know, take this. It won't bring your husband back, I know. You need money and I don't. Why, well, you're a good man. I just wish you'd done it before he worked himself into the grave. But you know, maybe you and your friend that lent him the money could do things differently. Like not threaten a man. Excuse me. I'm sorry, ma'am. I really am. Another day, huh, Arthur? Hey. Ah, how did you get on, Mr. Morgan? Just Danny. Hmm. Just... Get up. What? Get up! What? What is wrong? Nothing's wrong. Nothing at all. What are you doing? Something I should have done a long time ago. Get your bag. Is this it? I don't understand. I ain't gonna kill you. Though I probably should. You disgust me. And you shame us. If we could be shamed any more than we already are, that should do. Go! I don't understand you. What are you doing? Go and get a job! You know, they, they say the sick delude themselves. I was your friend. You and me, we ain't decent. But those folk, they was. Now here, take that. Take that and get lost. I'm leaving. 